The AFC Championship game is here. The Cincinnati Bengals travel to Kansas City to take on the Chiefs. We've got a Super Bowl bid on the line. Today, I got my favorite player prop, it's game pick. We got a same game parlay coming your guys' way. What's going on? My name's Austin from Calling Our Shot. The divisional round wasn't too kind to us, wasn't too bad to us. A two and two week last week. We can't complain about that. Let's have a winning Sunday. And if you are new, go down below, hit that subscribe button. You guys keep crushing and showing tons of support. Can't say thank you enough. Now, I did talk about this in the last video, but if you're looking for my 49ers and Eagles favorite picks, that's already live. Same thing as a player prop. You got a spread pick over there, and we got a same game parlay. Go check it out. And I talked about this in, the, uh, this in that video, but this video also brought to you guys by Prize Picks. Just want to bring it up. I Sorry, it's annoying. Last time I talk about them is that they have a free square out for Joe Burrow to throw for one passing yard, something he's done in all of his career starts. And if you sign up, you can get advantage of that free square, but you can also sign up and use our code COS in the link down below. You get a hundred percent deposit match up to a hundred bucks. The Joe Burrow free square, the most you can use on it is 25 bucks, but hey, it's free money. It's a free leg of your entries down. All you have to do is worry about the other ones. So I'll have my favorite price picks entry a little bit later on in this video. You can stay tuned for that. Make sure you sign up using our code COS or the link down below. Let's get into my favorite player prop, and then we'll talk about some leans I have at the end when we get to that prize picks part uh, entry. Let's talk about Mr. T. Higgins, because I really like his over 58 and a half receiving yards, minus 110 on BetMGM. Now, if you look at Higgins, I'd probably play this up to 64 and a half. Now, Higgins and prize picks, well, good note, 54 and a half is the prize picks line, which is even better. Now, take advantage of that. Now, let's talk about Higgins, who's under in three straight games, and he ain't even being close. He had 7, 37, and 28 receiving yards. Two of those games game against the Ravens, a team that really kind of game plan him out of that game. And last week versus the Bills, didn't get a lot going. They didn't really have a ton of passing yards, a lot more to, you know, Jamar Chase's of the world. Now, and Hayden Hurst. Now, I fully expect the Chiefs to try to eliminate Jamar Chase as much as they can. They did this last year when they played in the AFC Championship game. They're probably going to do it again. That's Burrow's number one target. You need to make Burrow make some more different reads and not just sit back, drop back, boom. Jamar Chase, I know where he's going to be. They obviously have a great connection. Jamar Chase, one of the best receivers in the league. Now, Higgins, if he gets some one-on-one -on -one coverage, I'm not afraid of Joe Burrow. To th Joe Burrow is not afraid of throwing it up to T. Higgins. He's six foot four, like two fifteen pounds. T. Higgins go up there and make some t contested catches. We saw him do it in the in the Super Bowl last year. We've seen him do it all season long. This is a guy with over a thousand receiving yards on the gear. Just had a couple bad games here and there. Now you look at Higgins. These teams played earlier this year. A big 35 yards a little bit we're gonna need a little bit more than that mr higgins but we saw a lot of tyler boyd in that game jamar chase got it going and i just and a lot on the ground with samaj p ryan ran for over 100 yards also like 50 in, in the in the air as well i just think higgins is a little bit too talented here to be getting such a low line he's been normally he's hovering in the 68 and a half kind of range and yet you were getting like a 10 yard discount here we saw last year in the afc championship game the Bengals. They have threw it a lot to T. Higgins. Had over 100 yards in that game. So I think Higgins going to step up here. Get 103 yards last year. Only Chase had 54. I think we see a similar game plan. This should be a close game. I don't think the Bengals will be running away with it. And they won't have to throw it like they did all of last week against the Bills. They didn't have to throw it in the fourth quarter. I don't even think Joe Burrow had a pass completion in the last 10 minutes. So I think we're going to see a guy like Higgins step up here. Big time game. I think he goes over this. He could obviously hit this over in just one play. We've seen Higgins do that before. And if he gets any man-on-man -man coverage... Look, Bur Burrow is not afraid to take a chance on his guy. He knows T. Higgins is going to win a large majority of those. One of the best receivers in the league. Just had a couple bad games here and there. I think T. Higgins shows up on Sunday. Give me his over 58 and a half receiving yards. Now, let's go move on to my game pick. And I talked about this in the last video. Regardless of who I pick here, someone's going to be upset. And that's just the nature of these videos. But I'm going to go with the Chiefs on the money line. Minus 110 on DraftKings. And let me talk about it. Why? And maybe Bengals fans, you don't have to be so upset. Because I bet against the Bengals last week. And I lost. No chance I lose two times in a row. Maybe it's good news for you guys that I'm betting against them. But let me talk about why I like this team. And look, I know the Chiefs and I know Joe Burrow and they've seen all these things about Burrow Head Stadium, how Joe Burrow and the Bengals are 3-0 and against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs over the past couple seasons. They've heard all of that. They've even been, we saw Chris Jones talk about it in the press conference, calling it Burrow Head Stadium. I will see the press there. Look, the, if the Bengals wanted to give them some extra motivation, congrats, you did it. And you look at the Bengals, sure, they're 3-0. They won all those three games by three points. It's not like they were blowing them out and it was just absolute domination. They've all been pretty close down to the wire. And we know Patrick Mahomes can win these big-time games. And, well, he didn't get it done last year in the conference championship. Who's to say he can't get it done here? And, look, people can look at his injury. I'm not worried about that. He'll be completely fine. I'm not worried about Patrick Mahomes. Maybe he doesn't run as much, but he's still going to be Patrick Mahomes a trip to the Super Bowl on the line. He's going to gut it out. And I just think it's too hard to beat a team as good as the Chiefs four times in a row. I know the Bengals have been able to do it. They've been able to push through adversity, been able to do a lot of these things. I mean, the Bengals are not a trash team by any stretch of the imagination. You don't get to the Super Bowl, then back to the AFC Championship by being a bad team. They're very, very talented on both sides of the football. But I just think the Chiefs have, have their number in this one. I think the Chiefs get it done at home. They've heard enough about the Burrowhead Stadium. This defense is going to show up. And we saw last week when the Bills 
were dismantled by the Bengals. But you look at it, it was really came down to the trenches. I mean, Joe Burrow did his thing, but they had no pressure on Joe Burrow. He was at a clean pocket almost all day. And they were able to run the football too. I mean, yeah, Joe makes a night like 100 yards. So I think this uh, Chiefs defensive line and offensive line is better than the Bills. Just, I, I think a guy like Chris Jones could really game wreck this uh, Bengals offensive line. And while the Bengals, you know, still dealing with some injuries up there, they got Chris Jones, one of the best D tackles in the league. They got Frank Clark, who's playing pretty well. And they got other guys that can come out and force pressure. The Bengals had no pressure last week. Bill, uh, the Bills couldn't do anything. Von Miller was out. I mean, he's been out for several weeks. They couldn't do anything. But we're, and their offensive line was getting bullied by the Bengals. But I like this Chiefs offensive line been together all year long. And I think they're going to be able to, to be able to, you know, hold back the Bengals defensive line and also be able to force some, you know, errant throws from Joe Burrow, put him under duress. Because if Joe Burrow's having to run for his life, it's going to be tough for him. And I also look at their defense, the Bengals defense, is do a little bit of regression. I think they looked a little bit too good last week, primarily because Josh Allen was running for his life. Eli Apple, while he played really well last week, He's done a little bit too much chirping on uh, Twitter this week, and I just think a little bit of karma is coming Eli Apple's way. A guy that takes a lot of risks. Did get burned on a couple times last week. They just couldn't connect on the throws. I think Patrick Mahomes will connect with his receivers. They still got plenty of talented receivers over there. At the end of the day, I'm going to take the Chiefs, the home team, the number one seed. I think they get it done. I'm going to take them, and hopefully they don't make me regret it. Maybe Bengals fans, you go back-to-back -back Super Bowls, at least get there, but I just don't think last year you saw them lose by three points. You saw Mahomes throw two interceptions in that game. I don't think he does two interceptions in this game. I think he eliminates those mistakes and we see the Chiefs get back to the Super Bowl after a year or two hiatus. Give me the Chiefs on the money line. It's not too juiced. And I'm not surprised. I mean, the line opened up Bengals favored and despite everyone being on the Bengals, the line has switched to the Chiefs. I want to take the Chiefs. Give them to me. You can obviously do take whoever you want. It's your decision. Now, of course, it's time for my same game parlay. And this, we're going to use a prize picks entry. And we're going to use that Burrow free square that I talked about. So my first leg, our first uh, leg, we're going to have Joe Burrow. More than 0.5 pass yards. I think you can certainly get that. And of course, a reminder, you can get advantage of that free square. Max bet is like 25 bucks combined across multiple different parlays if that's how you want to do it. And of course, make sure you use code COS or that link down below in the description for that 100% deposit match. But obviously, Joe Burrow, he's going to get that. Let's talk with the other guys. T. Higgins is somewhere in there. He's, we already talked about him. Jarek McKinnon and Juju Smith-Schuster. I haven't talked about either of these two guys, but Jarek McKinnon last week took his under for rushing yards and he ruined some people on the hook, but he cashed out for us on the hook. And I just think they're going to give it to him a lot here. I think this is a big Jarek McKinnon game they played earlier this year we saw Jarek McKinnon have like eight carries for 51 yards and McKinnon's going to get his work here and I think he's the better guy in this spot for uh instead of Isaiah Pacheco who still might get his touches but McKinnon got enough touches last week to get it done they got his rushing attempts line juice the moon at like seven and a half and if he gets you know eight touches uh, eight carries he could take one for 20 yards at least muscle it through a couple more for a couple more yards and he could easily get get this this is way too low of a line give me Jarek McKinnon's uh more 25 and a half rushing yards and then Juju Smith-Schuster is an interesting one this is more of a line read at 44 and a half taking the you know the more or the, the over in this one now you look at Juju last week his line was like 55 and a half very high and he went under he soared under and while they moved his line down a little bit they didn't move it down too low and I think this is a big Juju game I think the Bengals come out here and say you know what we saw Travis Kelsey 14 receptions last week. We know Travis Kelsey is the number one guy for you. We're going to try our best to take him away. and Other guys are going to have to beat you. And I think Juju can. I think he's that number one guy for Patrick Mahomes. And he's not necessarily, you know, running deep routes. But I think he's going to run those short routes to be able to advance upfield. I think his receptions line is sitting at four and a half on the over, which is like plus 110. Well, I wouldn't say take that. But the fact that it's even at four and a half, a number that he's had like two or less or three or less in like four straight games, two or less in a lot of those games. The fact that it's still at four and a half, I think they're expecting a big Juju game. I think they thought that was going to come last week. And then that just was all Travis Kelsey because the Jags said, you know, we don't feel like guarding him. I think we see a big Juju game. I take his over, take his more, 44 and a half receiving yards. I'm going to put money on this. I think it's like $10 to win 10X. I think that's the money on the, on the four leggers, but I'll certainly take a shot at it. So those are my favorite picks. Hopefully we can cash out and have a big day. Of course, drop your favorite picks down below in the comments. Let me know who you guys think wins these games. And of course, if you want to check out that Eagles, uh, Eagles versus 49ers game, Boom, that video's up on the screen. Go check it out. Let's have a great Sunday. I'll be back in those NBA videos, and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Peace out.